Hello everybody, Crips here, and once again, <laughs> once again, I really got to come up with something new, don't I? Uh, once again, thanks for joining me. Uh, now before I go on, uh, I'd just like to thank everybody who, uh, who has subscribed to my channel. Today I reached just over 1,300. I know that's not a lot, uh, considering there are guys with 4 or 5 million, but 1,300 uh, still lets me to believe that there are people out there enjoying my videos. So what I did, I, I kind of set myself up a little bit more professional. Went out and got myself a, a podcast, USB mic, and the uh, shock mount, and the whatever, and put it all together. So it gives you better quality in sound, I hope. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, I just wasted a shitload of money. But anyway, uh, what are we doing today? Uh, I'm going to show you something very unique to HTML, uh, HTML Video Studio 5, and that is HTML5. And... Uh, Let's open it up. Now, what is HTML5? Well, it's mainly for webmasters. It allows you to um, put links inside your video clips and then upload them to your site and then run them. Now, currently, they're using uh, FLV, and then you're going to find a player and then do all that sort of stuff. But uh, HTML5 has simplified it. And actually, um, if I go here, I think, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, but... YouTube has already figured it out that uh, HTML5 is going to dominate soon. So they've already started to prepare themselves for the HTML5 video player. So, And that allows you to upload videos with uh, links embedded there already. So that's kind of cool. Like I said, I'm just speculating, but I think that's what it does. All right, let's go back to Corral and let's uh, create a HTML5 uh, video. All right, so go to File, New HTML5 Project. Here we go. So... Uh, find your know, video footage or whatever you want to use i'm using this one here um it, it's been raining mad here today and when i came home uh my whole street was just underwater and uh, i found this guy's car my neighbor and when i came home the water was actually past this, this is now receded it was up to about here and i'm just assuming that it's all wet inside <laughs> not my car so who cares no that's not nice um uh, so anyway uh I'm hoping he's okay. Now, let's say uh, I want to play this in my website and then have a text pop up with a link uh, to my website. So let's go into the title track. Uh, double click. If you don't know how to do that, just look at my previous uh, tutorials. Okay, awesome site. <laughs> and it can be any color you want. It doesn't need to be red. It's up to you. Or any font. It doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, I want to create a link now. So what I do, I right-click on my title track and then just go to Add Link and then just put in my web address. So what is this awesome site, you may ask? Well, you guessed it. It's mine. <laughs> okay. Now, you can also uh, add chapter points uh, into your links. So same thing, right-click, Add Links, click uh, Select From Queue. And you'll see that it, all the chapter points has come up. And then you can go directly to your chapter points. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to stick to the old-fashioned link thing. And then press OK. All right, now, uh, because it is in your title track, uh, it can be a picture you can put in your overlay track. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be text. You can link it. No worries. You can then also add in your filters. You can um, put in uh, transitions and effects to make it come up really cool, not just, bam, there it is and goes. No. You can do whatever you want with it. But the important thing is I have now created the link to this text. Now, once you've done, go share and create HTML5 file. Select your path and whatnot and then uh, press OK. Now, I've done that already, so I'm not going to sit here and watch you make you watch me render that out. So that's, uh, that's going to be boring for you and for me. Anyway, uh, let's go into... Sorry about that. Let's go and find the uh, file I'm talking about. Not that one. Uh, where do we go? Here we go. All right. Uh, make sure it works. You can see a little preview. So here it is. Now, uh, if you are using HTML5 currently, you know that you have to use video tags, link it into your file, and then do control tags. You don't need to do that. Uh, video5 does it all for you. It just puts it all neatly in a little folder for you, and off you go. So here we go. Press play. My text popped up, and if I click on it, it'll there you go. It goes straight to my uh, my video site, uh, my website. Now, how cool is that, eh? All right, now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to embed that into your 
into your website. All right, so if you've been to my website, you've most likely remember or seen this. Currently, it's just a link to YouTube, so I'm just using the YouTube uh, players. It's not my own. But I want to create uh, my own file and put it in here. So let's go to iframe. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's just uh, yeah, insert another row. Okay. All right. Very simple. I'm just going to do this very basically. Control C. I go here. Control V. Control S and play. And now, uh, hopefully, that should all should all be working. There you go. So again, uh, look how quickly I did that. And that's it. There is nothing to it. Obviously, you can create your website looking a lot better than what I did. But I just uh, showed you just how quick and simple it was to create HTML5 video files in Video Studio and then use them into your website. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the tutorial. And once again, thanks for subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.